What's up guys welcome to my channel and in today's video we will talk about iOS 14 beta 5 and this is a more bigger video on the video I dropped few hours ago so without wasting any more time let's get right into today's video shall we so iOS 14 beta 5 fixes one of the tiny iOS 14 changes that aren't important enough to be addressed during an iOS presentation but it's a feature that a certain group of people will observe as soon as they upgrade to iOS 14 so the iconic time picker scrolling wheel you are currently using to set up new alarms is gone in ios 14 as apple replaced it with a keypad that's let you enter the time manually next ios 14 beta 5 fixes the issue by adding a small scrolling wheel to the time field so apple la apple's latest iphone and ipad operating system bring uh, several new feature and changes which are already available to customer willing to install the ios 14 and ipad os 14 beta version on their devices while bugs and issues are still there although you should make sure you back up your current ios 13 install before you move on to ios 14 beta 5 if you are coming from from ios 13 or if you are coming from ios 14 beta 4 then it is it is normal for you it, you you won't see any new things like there are many small things that apple have fixed here and of course small things also matter so let's talk more about it so next thing is the new widgets so widgets are now much more longer um, and uh, uh as widgets are longer the folders have become also much more longer than earlier so as I sh as i'm showing you in the video the widgets have been become longer and plus the new folders have been also become longer now let's dig deeper and you will deserve smaller changes that are coming to the ipad os and iphone os and if you end up using ios 14 for a few days you you would be in love and ios 14 beta 5 have changed many things hopefully we won't be won't be seeing any major bugs fingers crossed so apple replaced the wheel with a keypad that you can use to enter the time for the next alarm manually so might prefer the new user interface over the click wheel but it will undoubtedly annoy many long time iphone users who are you who you who are just used to it and i'm one of that i was just and i was just not getting used to it i just i was trying again and again and it is not the same experience as it used to be in ios 13 or even the ios 14 beta 4 so if you are not going to jump to ios 14 until the final release is available this fall you won't have to deal with this mirror annoyance but you have to mentally prepare for the ultimately death of timer picker wheel it is completely gone even in everything like seriously it is completely unexisted in ios 14 beta 5 so if you were wondering whether the time picker wheel is also gone from date and time section of the settings app then i have a bad news for you yes yes there is also the change affected shit man i, I just I'm, I'm not used to it bro like apple please add it back anyway talking about the update size update on almost every single device came above 1.2 gigabytes and on my iphone 10 it came around 1.7 gigabytes and after installing it freed up almost 1.2 gigs and it is good that after installing the update i got my got a ton of storage back now talking about the ios 14 beta 6 we will be seeing ios 14 beta 6 from one to one and a half week from now as apple have changed the schedule and now we think that next week wednesday we will get the ios 14 beta 6 so next thing is the hidden albums there is a new hidden album setting in photos that we that we can turn on cause the hidden album in photos to be hidden from the albums list that we can just tap it and the it will be hidden from even the photos app earlier it was not able to hide next is thing is in the home kit control center home kit, home kit favorite in ios control center now feature smaller tight tiles and smarter organization that provide access to more shortcuts now the next thing is the splash screen so as i showed in my previous video when i opened the 
control center and when i opened the shortcuts app there was a new splash screen that i showed as you can see on the screen i have i, I got this splash screen and this splash screen is new for ios 14 we haven't seen it it is the first time we are seeing it so that's it for today's video if you do end up liking this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for latest tech info till then peace out and meet you all in the very next episode